so guys a beautiful good morning from Addis um, it's really loud here there's a lot of construction going on at the airport but today I'll be flying Kenya Airways on the Embraer 190 in business class two-hour flight um, there was already a lot of drama at check-in um, there show a guy showed up he jumped the queue he checked in somebody else which was a UN official and as passionate as I am about these kind of things I was wondering whether it's even allowed to check someone in who's not there physically so i went there uh, i had a chat with them and then they didn't want to check me in because my onwards flight didn't have an e-ticket number so i had the pnr i locked in it was all confirmed but they insisted to have the ticket number uh, so the pnr wasn't enough and uh, then I, ta I asked them to call their supervisor which then confirmed I was ready to go to Dubai because I'm having a transit in Nairobi. Anyways, I'm pretty excited about today's flight. I love African Airlines, um, Kenya Airways in particular. I have lounge access, so I'm going to show you the lounge here at Addis and then we're going to check out the Embraer 190 in business class. So let's do this. So Kenya Airways doesn't have its own lounge here, but you get access to the gold member Star Lines uh, lounge. So, um, again, it's a buffet. That's why I have like a French toast, two meatballs, a boiled egg, and uh, a bun. I appreciate the fact that there's a buffet here in times of times of COVID-19. Yeah, very hectic lounge. It's pretty big, a lot of open space, and this French toast is really dry. It's like very, very dry. Try the meatballs. So good. Nice and juicy. The combo of meatballs and French toast works pretty well. So the Kenya Airways flight coming from Nairobi is just about to land. And yeah, it seems like they have a remote gate. So one thing I love to do is every time I have like some spare change, which I'm not going to use anymore because I'm leaving the country, I love to give it to some like cleaning st staff or like some people who might appreciate it. So I, I hope you do the same. I'm leaving the country. I don't need this anymore. Okay. One for you, one for you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Some interesting scenes uh, the plane hasn't even landed yet but as soon as they switched on the board saying Nairobi everybody started queuing for for boarding though we not gonna board anytime soon <laughs> and now everyone is sent back <laughs> So just on the bus, bus boarding, my least favorite. Um, there's also no special bus for business class passengers, just so you know, I don't mind. Um, but yeah, should be on our way to the aircraft very soon. on the bus but they drive like absolute maniacs <laughs> no giving way So and here we are, welcome on board the uh, Embraer 190. On the seat map, on Seeker, it has it's 12 seats. This one only has nine dedicated business class seats. I got three J and then in total it says it's 96 seats on the entire aircraft, including um, economy class.
it's a bit hectic, so people don't really follow um, their boarding passes and they just sit wherever they want. So I was able to change to the seat in front, so I'm 1A now. So we're just taxiing for the runway. I'm gonna give you a seat tour once we are airborne. I also find the seat to be pretty comfortable for a regional business class. Before we take off, why don't you join my Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes to join my WhatsApp group, a great place to make new friends or for our monthly Zoom sessions. Find the link below the video. So and this is the seat. I told you here in the armrest is where the the table is kept. There's also a recline, so let's see how good the recline is. It's quite decent. It goes all the way. Uh, what do you have? Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the car. So the meal service kicks off of uh, a round of beverages and uh, yeah, even wines, spirits, mixed drinks. Uh, beer uh, it's all still on they don't have a menu physically because of COVID obviously uh, but they communicated that as well and now she just said that there's gonna be meals served but I wasn't asked what I want to have what I want to have I don't know whether there's going to be a choice or not but we will find out in a few seconds so and this is what we're being served on this flight a little dinner box it's interesting when I flew them in 2018 in the economy class, they would serve the exact same boxes. I mean, there's cutlery inside. It comes with a little salad, a dessert, which looks pretty lovely. And they also only had a choice between uh, vegetarian or beef. It looks like a pizza, like a slice of pizza or some local dish. Yeah, it looks lovely. And now I'm going to go try and see what it tastes like. So I definitely love olives. But they're tasteless. <laughs> the two in the green one. Actually, I'm in business class, right? I should use my my cutlery, huh? Hey? Otherwise, you guys give me shit again. And this one is like overly salty. <laughs> so now we're gonna try the the main dish, the actual one. That's what it looks like. That's actually pretty good. I'm loving it. Like a bit of like a lasagna, but I really love that one. So good. So let me tell you that it was an absolute amazing meal. I have no idea what it was, but it was really good. Probably among the top 10 meals I've ever had on a flight. Definitely on an aero body. Yeah, and I'm so surprised how an airline like Kenya Airways can still uh, come up with such a beautiful concept of a hot meal, beverages, alcohol etc etc and like western airlines totally struggle to even give out a bottle of water kenya airways i salute you that is really lovely and makes me feel appreciated so i'm to finish the lunch service a uh, cup of coffee served in a proper mug no plastic nonsense just the way it used to be and that's very delicious coffee so just a quick new review but i can't stay in here for too long because the lady who has been using it before me i think she had a massive shit <laughs> and it smells so bad in here um yeah but no special amenities whatsoever but it's all like kept fairly organized and fairly clean but I gotta, I gotta get out of here so bad. So this is an absolute excellent flight. Uh, amazing crew, uh, lovely catering, um, five out of five. The seat is very comfortable. 
the product as such is a very lovely for a regional flight. The one thing I don't like is that the cabin, the business class cabin, I am the only paying customer here because the rest is Kenya Airways staff. And um, what I don't appreciate is the fact that they're super loud, half of them are not even wearing a mask. They behave like they own the place. So it is a little bit yeah, annoying, like listening to their laugh. And like, I, I don't mind if they have a little chat or whatever, but they've been so loud the entire flight. They sit wherever they want, they move around. Uh, they just behave like they are on a, on, a, on a school trip, on a college trip, somewhere, uh, somewhere fun. So uh, this is something, I don't know why the policy on Kenya Airways is, is like this, but they should just sit there and make, it, make sure that the only paying customer in this cabin has a comfortable flight. That would be my only point of criticism here. So I made it, I'm on the ground, I'm at the Pride Lounge here in Nairobi. Um, I told you pretty much what I thought about the flight um, and I do strongly believe that Kenya Airways is one of the best airlines in in Africa. It impressed me more than Ethiopian Airlines. Um, it's on par with South African Airways or what it used to be. So it's a quality carrier and this flight was once again approved for it. Um, now chill at the lounge here. Subscribe if you want to see my onward flight. I'm now be flying in business class on the 787 to Dubai. Um, uh, another one I'm very excited about and uh, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comment section below who you think is Africa's best airline. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.